let's go. Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Neetal from Apollo 247. It's truly wonderful to have you on board here for the webinar session, where we will talk a little about uh, precautions and treatment uh, points for COVID, and also educate you on a lot of multiple other things, uh, which uh, my colleagues will talk about, how, who I will introduce a little later. Uh, as of now, we are extremely grateful and uh, uh, thankful to all of you being here because it's about being aware, being educated, and knowing about what to do in these hard times. Now, if I have to take you through the session, through the next an hour or so, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's gonna be a good presentation from our uh, uh, ENT consultant, Dr. Harshita, who will talk to you about Corona and how to defend ourselves on the ongoing crisis. And then we will put forward a few, uh, you know, a, a session for you for you where you can ask your questions, clear your doubts, and how to stay safe. And they can be any question. And we will have a 15 minute session with this. And then uh, we will talk about Apollo 247 as an app. What would it be of use to you? How would you be uh, you know, using the app? What would it benefit? And how will it benefit? What are the different structures in the app is what we will talk about. And then about the pharmacy, pharmacy ordering and delivery. And then the excitement in the last part of the session is uh, a quiz, health quiz, where we will put questions to all of you. And then uh, whoever answers will get a, a surprise gift. Uh, our team will convey the, all that to you at, 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 the, at the last. So thank you all for being here. Uh, I, think, I think we will go ahead with uh, uh, the next part of the session, where uh, I will tell you a little about Apollo 247, which is... Uh, you know, a uh, Omni channel where this app came into being on February 5th. Now, having said that, this was an app which was already there and a lot of people use it, but Apollo, yes, you have to look through about Apollo and how, how Apollo is different and what Apollo does and how we are secure, how we are, uh, you know, uh, in, in the market, trying to be with people, saving millions of lives, being available, making our specialists uh, available where there's no accessibility. So yeah, so this is all about Apollo 247 and we'll talk a little about that later, but let me introduce my uh, colleague, Dr. Harshita, who's an ENT surgeon. Uh, she's a consultant with Apollo 247 and she will talk a little about you. And, uh, you know, affiliated with uh, uh, fellowship in aesthetic surgery from Germany and uh, an assistant professor in Shada Institute of Medical Sciences and a consultant with us. And she's been awarded a lot of awards and otolaryngologist where it's primarily really with the ENT uh, part of uh, the body, ear, nose and throat. So it's wonderful to have you, Dr. Harshita. So over to you to talk about a little about how do we defend ourselves against coronavirus. Dr. Harshita Reddy, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Neetal for your kind words. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Harshita Reddy. I'm a consultant ENT surgeon with Apollo Telehealth. Hope everyone is doing well as we are going through a global pandemic that is COVID-19. Uh, let's talk and understand a bit about it. Uh, next, uh, next slide, please. Yeah. So COVID-19 or coronavirus disease 2019 is an infectious disease. It is caused by newly discovered coronavirus strain. So this coronavirus includes a large family of virus that can cause illness ranging from even small uh, common cold uh, to more severe respiratory illness. So how does this thing spread? It is spreads from person to person through droplets. These droplets are expelled uh, when we talk or when we sneeze or even when we cough. So at a time, a person can expel up to 3000 or more droplets only by speaking. So and these uh, droplets are relatively quite heavy and can't travel for uh, much. So here comes the importance of social distancing and wearing masks. Uh, by maintaining at least three feet or one meter distance, we are protecting ourselves from this expel. So that way, and also by wearing mask, uh, you are blocking the droplets to pass through the mask. Suppose if a COVID person is wearing a mask, he's blocking the droplets to pass through. That way he's protecting others, uh, others I'm in mean the community. So before we go further, Dr. Harshita, that was uh, insight, a good insight. However, my opinion, and uh, as we see that almost everybody's aware that they have to wear masks, they have to maintain a social distance of one yes. meters and so, uh, it would be, 
you know, uh, very educative and uh, info, in, uh, important for people who are with us right now to know how different is COVID virus from other viruses. Why should we be more careful about it? What's, what's, what's in this virus that we have to stop, you know, uh, being close, you have to wear masks, and why wouldn't we do that to other viruses? So that's an important information that, you know, the, uh, the participants would like to know and uh, would, would, lovely, would like to hear that from you. Yes, Dr. Neetal, this coronavirus is a, a completely new strain, so we are quite not aware about its actions and uh, effects. Like, see, uh, we okay. listed out the standard symptoms, but it's varying daily. Day by day, we are seeing the new symptoms and uh, quite new. Uh, this virus is quite new. And uh, right now, we don't have any vaccine or even treatment protocol for the standard protocol for uh, COVID-19. So, and also this spreads very rapidly. I mean, uh, if today, if we uh, um, inhale those droplets, you may develop even today, the incubation period. I mean, the entry of uh, droplets inside you and uh, the outcome of infection, it takes even one day to 14 days. And it's rapid. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ashita. So, uh, dear all, dear all participants, it is so very important to understand that this is just another virus, yet the variation of the structure and functionality of the virus, you know, the, the uh, way the strain is changing, that is one of the reasons why we're not able to come to a vaccine. But yes, the vaccine trials are on. And while that is being on, we know that we have to protect ourselves from all these, uh, you know, important aspects is what Dr. Harshita is referring to. Dr. Harshita, yeah, your next slide, please. Yeah. And talking about the symptoms of COVID-19, actually each person is different and each person gets affected differently. But these are the most common uh, symptoms observed. They have... Yeah, I think Dr. Harshita just uh, uh, must be a bandwidth issue. Let's just give a couple of seconds to uh, come back into the meeting. So I'm sure a lot of you, while I just fill up till Dr. Hashita comes back, I'm sure all of you are at home now and trying to avoid going out. But if you go out on Hyderabad streets, you see a lot of people and the incidents and the potential of uh, attracting the virus is huge. Yeah. So Dr. Hashita, back to you. I think you muted Dr. Hashita. You can unmute yourself. Yes, Dr. Ashita. Yeah, Please. as we were talking, each person will get differently affected, but uh, these are the most common symptoms listed down. Uh, like it can range from fever, dry cough, shortness of breath, runny nose, sore throat, and uh, even difficulty in breathing. These are the most commonly observed symptoms in the patients. Uh, whereas other symptoms like fatigue, muscle ache, even rash on the skin, joint pains, uh, diarrhea, all these are also observed in COVID-19. Would you like to say something, Dr. Neetha? Uh, see, uh, one, one point, important point is, uh, again, all of us are aware that it's fever, cough, so shortness of breath, and so through. But, you know, the way the disease is progressing, the way it's evolving, with fever, it could be mild fever, it could be high fever, it could be just an influenza, or it could be anything else. But to keep a track of it, keep a tab on all these symptoms, are they getting moderate to severe? Are you feeling more, uh, you know, uh, asymptomatic? day by day. Is it not reducing? You've been taking medications, but it is not reducing, right? And have you been in contact with somebody who's, who could be a positive or have you been in a correct place? And how does it all corroborate to the symptoms? Do we have elderly people? Do we have children in the house? Can they be affected? How to stay away from them? So constantly there's an evolution of trying to understand what kind of symptoms. Is there a new symptom? Will the elderly get a new symptom? Be aware of that. Be Keep a lookout of that. That is the only way to counter the disease. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, uh, previous slide, please. Please share the third slide. Yeah, I think the social distancing slide, I guess. Yes. Yeah, yeah I think there was a problem. Yes. So yeah. we have been listening to these three terms um, lately. So they are social distancing, quarantine, and self-isolation. I would like to say the difference between them. 
uh, social distancing it is nothing but a change in our daily routine yeah. to minimize the contact Absolutely. with others yeah right. for example avoiding handshakes avoiding social gatherings maintaining at least 3 feet that is 1 meter uh, distance between us that part is social distancing whereas quarantine is a suppression and restriction of the movements uh, to prevent the spread uh, for example if someone in a family is affected with uh, covid 19 his family members are uh, restricted to that house i mean they are not allowed to roam around and all they are probable spreaders so they are not allowed to move that is quarantine whereas self isolation is a voluntary act like act by us to uh, when we, this this should be done when we con- come in contact with a covid 19 patient or when we develop even mild symptoms or when we are waiting for our test results this is self isolation mm-hmm. okay next slide yeah thank you dr harshita yeah while you talk about the other one uh, what what these three points uh, actually uh, indicate and how they carry weight is primarily it should be a new normal people shouldn't get offended that we are asking them to stay one one meter away minimum one meter and maximum whatever so some people might uh, debate saying okay what if i sneeze really hard than the other normal person uh, will the droplets this uh, you know travel further yes they will it is not just one meter the people who when they when they you know let out uh, the spit or the sneeze they can really travel fast and with a huge force so you know one meter sometimes may not help but then the standard is one meter for now and then beyond one meter try to be away as much as possible and identify that you know you might be affected or you're in common con- come in contact with a exposed patient or exposed person try to distance yourself away from that which is absolutely fine you don't have to worry over be fa- you know be fearful about what will people think what will social what will social uh, gatherings think how do they uh, in- intercept my staying away which is fine you got to be safe and you have to make people safe too so you know that is that is what about those three points really indicate about yeah dr ashita yeah well what can we do as a community to prevent the spread i am sure most of our uh, communities are following this i already so let me take you in uh, social distancing like we have uh, already talked about and uh, practicing good hand hygiene that is frequently washing your hands with uh, soap and water or alcohol based rub and uh, wearing mask when you even step out of the house and staying home when you are sick i mean even if you are feeling little uh, lethargic or uh, better to stay at home and monitoring your symptoms like earlier dr neetal said it's very important so please monitor your symptoms even if it is a normal common cold okay and uh, avoid the uh, going outside maximum for example if you are going for a grocery shopping make sure only one person from per household goes and also please avoid multiple trips uh, listed list the down uh, listed down the required the things you need to buy and uh, avoid multiple trips and when the person comes back you have to thoroughly clean himself and please change the clothes and wash your hands and yeah do follow all the steps we have listed earlier i avoid the community meetings and uh, events as soon as possible excuse me please uh, last slide the, the previous slide please yeah yeah, yeah. and the uh, mask and hand sanitizer should be made available to the security personnel too and please help senior citizens who are staying alone in your community manage their rations and please help them yeah i, th- I think that's a wonderful message across dr harshita i'm sure uh, you're aware of it as well all of you but uh, if you look at uh, the hard side the downside of this how important is it for us to follow these not just because of this covid today we should have followed all these earlier as well now that we haven't done a few of them like washing hands avoiding uh, crowded areas disinfect regularly this got this has got to be the new normal for us right people can be offended or whatever but then it's fine we have to be careful and we have to make people we need to follow yeah it's, it's yeah. fine yeah absolutely of course yeah. yeah so there are a few questions that i think uh, been put across in the youtube we will uh, address that once dr harshita finishes so uh, don't worry about it we will answer almost all your questions yeah uh, first suppose if there is a covid 19 patient in your apartment how do you act like first don't get panicked and if you see this board do not visit that place better to not visit that place and if you are visiting also please wear mask and follow the guidelines we have listed down and commonly touched uh, uh, surfaces like lift buttons lift gates or uh, uh, community gates uh, should be thoroughly wiped it down or disinfected and uh, shut down the gym pool and all other amenities i'm sure already you guys are following it 
and the visitors are should should uh, should be strictly not allowed and please put thermal scanners at the entry and exit of the gate all this while we were talking about what precautions to follow but uh, what to do when you come in close contact with a covid-19 patient like i said earlier please self isolate yourself or uh, choose a well ventilated room with uh, all the toilet facilities if that is not possible at least put 1 meter distance between you and your family members and uh, seek medical help immediately and uh, even if you develop mild symptoms even if you don't develop any symptoms it's better to isolate yourself for 14 days and uh, most importantly stay positive next slide yeah uh, before you go on to the next slide dr ashita yeah uh, i'm i'm we want you to be aware that uh, like we see in the movies if there's a big board a red board or trespasses uh, to be prosecuted kind of things it scares us it really scares us to see okay this is a red zone we can't go there 20 years ago hiv was like that yes hiv he's a social stigma we cannot go there right and there are only not not many people were aware that there are only few methods of transmission of hiv similarly there are only few methods of transmission of uh, covid virus it's like an, any influenza virus that transmits the same method right only that the virus is different so what we want you to be uh, careful and uh, put this in your thought is do not have a social stigma you just have to take care of a few things be hygienic and uh, be uh, respectful towards others and isolate yourself and these basic things that dr harshad has mentioned just follow them and you should be fine we don't have to really worry about what happens when i see a red board should i even go close to the house yes you can absolutely go close to the house and walk from there but don't get into the house don't touch surfaces that you do not know and even if you do touch certain surfaces that you think are risky wipe them and uh, you know then open up and things like that so these are the basic things i think all of you should be really uh, thoughtful about and you should put them in your daily practice i will give you an example of uh how i have my maids and drivers and everybody else come in through and there's a procedure to that it's a very simple process but i will talk to you about that later thank you dr atta next year slide please yeah uh like how to deal with the maids or drivers better to avoid them if you can give them paid leave and it is well and good but if yes. you cannot uh, uh, do it please educate your staff about the sensitivity around the issue they are not educated like us so they won't be understanding it so please make them understand about the issue not only what to do at your home what to practice at their home too correct like yeah. when they absolutely. go back yeah. absolutely yeah next slide so what are the precautions uh, we usually take at home we need to take it at office or our business area too other than that please carry a pocket sanitizer along with you and uh, when you step out of the house please make sure you wear your mask covering your no nose and mouth and uh, if you are using your personal vehicle make sure you sanitize the most commonly touched areas like uh, uh, door uh, and uh, steering wheel etc and please do not share any mugs or water bottles or any cutlery in your office and maintain a safe distance uh, with your colleagues and uh, make sure not not more than 3 people are there at a time in a lift and most importantly how to stay positive how to stay healthy and how to stay fit i mean uh, i know i know everyone will get panicked if you are staying at home for a longer time and we get all this negative thoughts and all but always remember you are stronger than you think so please follow a routine meditate for 20 minutes and uh, try home based workouts like yoga uh, if you have children please engage them in activities uh, uh, play indoor games uh, with them and indulge them in activities like painting etc and uh, when you are going through a low phase always remember it is okay to seek help Apollo Mental Health is always ready to help you. Uh, Dr. Ashish, that was a very good message, and uh, your statement saying that you do not know how strong you are and what you're capable of. You can do much more than what you think you are. Right? That's that's a message that you should talk about and tell yourself that I have to be fit, I have to stay positive, and have to make sure everybody around me are positive, because a lot of people we're getting a lot of uh, uh, you know consultations and. a queries on how to keep ourselves stay safe and be positive because we just getting depressed we stressed out that we're not able to go out being locked down in the house 
and lots of other things. So we have an entire good plan, a counseling a program to help you stay safe and stay positive and stay fit and stay stress-free. Yeah, exercising is one important factor because uh, when you're at home, you land up doing so many things that you normally wouldn't, like eating a lot and not exercising and being lazy, being in the bed, getting up late in the morning. All those things are happening as we talk. But then it's important for you to identify what is not normal and start being normal and try to really, really be uh, conscious about the food that you take, your diet that you take, which is extremely important at this stage yes. to keep yourself fit and your immunity as well. We will talk about a little, uh, you know, a few food factors uh, Dr. Harshita will speak about. Yeah. And uh, also uh, exercise release happy hormones, so it will keep you happy. Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so those are called endorphins, the happy factor. So, you know, start exercising, everybody. <laughs> yes, Dr. Harshita, carry on, please. So this is the most common question I get uh, these days. Like people are panicked even with common cold saying like, yeah. uh, did I catch COVID or not? So uh, let me tell you a uh, difference between them. Uh, thing, thing is, because of this seasonal changes and all, it's common to catch a cold or, you know, people with common allergies too, they will have cold throughout the year. Thing is, you need to chart your uh, progress, like Dr. Neetal said earlier. Uh, a common cold or uh, seasonal allergies won't aggravate in a night or something. So if you are having cold and harsh cough or if you feel suddenly weak or something, uh, so it should be, uh, you should get tested then. Otherwise, please monitor your uh, progression of symptoms and that should be okay. And also with normal flu, you won't have other symptoms like high spikes of fever or uh, difficulty in breathing or other digestive problems like uh, constipation, diarrhea, etc. Diarrhea, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you have flu and all these uh, symptoms along with the flu, it's better to get checked and seek medical help. Uh, would you like to just mention about a couple of tests that are uh, very specific and today it is it may not be very easy but yeah it's accessible now to the people if you can just talk about that we will be uh, you know helping these guys to understand what tests can be done yes like a pcr test to be it's very accurate uh, with covid so it's better to uh, get pcr test done yeah this is uh, this is a very simple test where we take a sample and uh, it's called Along with the, yeah. test and it's a rapid uh, test, rapid. so which is a very specific test and a CT. CT, CT yeah, CT important. So CT scan also has been very specific now, which uh, here at Apollo and other places they've been doing to identify if there's any focus of infection in the lungs. So yes. uh, these are pretty definitive and effective. And uh, once your infection subsides, just to see if any remnants of virus is there or not, we again do a PCR and a uh, CT test. So yeah, these are the mix and match of uh, physicians and consultants and specialists who talk about how do you how do they manage their patients. So you know, uh, don't worry about uh, this, but just be aware of all these things. Yeah, doctor. Yeah, because of teleconsultation too, it has become easier. Even if you have slightest doubt, do not panic. Just call us, and we will we are uh, there to help you. Well, uh, I think. Uh, that's about it, uh, Dr. Harshita. Thank you very much for your time and insights on uh, COVID-19, the precautions, the treatment modalities, the safety methods at home, outside. Uh, you know, these are very important uh, uh, points for people to be aware and to be uh, educated about all these things. Uh, now, there are some questions that uh, have come up in the YouTube. Uh, you know, they, there's a little delay in from the time that we uh, get to talk from the YouTube to a Zoom call. So uh, please be uh, patient and bear with us if there's any delay in our responses. Uh, one of the gentlemen asks, is, asks, is it spread in the air? So Dr. Hashtag, if you may want. No, it doesn't spread in the air, but uh, this, in fact, I, like I told you, these droplets are quite heavy, relatively heavy. So as soon as they're expelled, they'll sink to the ground. But a light, like uh, Dr. Neetal said, when you sneeze, the uh, like it will travel little far than one meter. So yeah, but it doesn't spread by air. It will spread by only droplet infection that is released by your nose or mouth. Yeah, if it was to spread by air, I think all of us- Half of the population would have wiped yeah, down by yeah. now. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Just try to stay uh, away. And uh, you know, from people who sneeze and cough, it's important. Uh, there's another uh, uh, question. How to find difference between normal flu and COVID symptoms? I think you've already answered yes. that. So I'll skip that question. 
please chart your progression of symptoms and uh, if you have other symptoms too like uh, other digestive problems like constipation or diarrhea or sudden spike of fever above 100 then please seek for medical help uh how doctors affecting even though they are wearing ppe kits is what one of the participants is asking uh because uh, you have to see the viral load here uh, if we come in contact with one covid patient there is probability of getting covid imagine doctors are treating like hundreds of covid patients so the viral load is more and though they are uh, falling uh, wearing ppt and all they are catching it somehow yeah okay so one of the participants is asking uh how do we uh, clean uh, the vegetables that we get from the market i think that's already answered in a safe manner you wash them and make sure the person who gets also washes and cleans himself before we start yeah. doing activity in the house if you can afford we get uh, vegetables or uh, fruit cleaners also you can uh, put your vegetables in water and put that liquid for 1 minute or else you can clean by normal standard technique do you have any brand that you know that uh, you can suggest dr harshita uh <laughs> i'm not sure sir because i okay. i clean by standard methods okay right. now that's fine i think we probably have to check i think if if there's some product like that and if it has a, a cleansing uh, you know uh, activity then i think we should follow that uh how effective is the hand sanitizer is one of the participants asking hand sanitizer is quite effective but uh, it's better to wash with uh, soap and water that is yeah. a best technique but if you pick when you are traveling outside when you are going to your office and all you can carry your uh, 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 hand sanitizer with you it's 99% yeah, effective correct it has an alcohol base and a lot of other chemicals it's purely chemical and it is very very unlikely that the virus uh, you know yeah. uh, is still there when you wash it most of yeah. it you go off uh, sir i would like to yeah. interrupt for mangoes and all i usually use this one hygienic talk okay okay Can you just uh, bring it a little closer to the uh, yes. camera, Doctor Ashita, so that people sure. can see? It's a veggie wash and veggie uh, wash. Yeah, okay. I think <laughs> it's another product to wash, but uh, as you said, I think yeah. wash the best wash <laughs> and uh, cleaning it is the best way. Yeah. Uh, okay, so how can we handle the situation where we have people visiting our house for delivering newspaper, milk, housemates, and other services? It's so, better to yeah. avoid newspapers for a while. All yes. are like educated. Very very important. Them. Yes, Absolutely. digital. and uh, milk packets and all uh, which you cannot avoid just clean it like standard and get it inside the home for sanitize it and then uh, get yeah. it inside the house uh as far as uh, uh, another gentleman is concerned he's asked uh, i wanted to highlight this uh, a little later but then he's asked this question whether asymptomatic persons can infect covid 19 yes uh, most if important if he's, he's positive is a carrier yes. they yes. are the most dangerous cats most dangerous sir. they are not aware of this uh, because they don't have yeah. any symptoms they are not aware of and it and they don't even know correct yeah but they can spread it so it's always better to maintain 1 meter distance uh, among yourself even yeah. if the patient doesn't have a person doesn't have any symptoms yeah i mean what we try to say is uh, try not to have parties anymore yes <laughs> till the time this settles down yeah uh yeah some tips for senior citizens who are above 75 80 is what the uh, question one of the gentlemen one of the ladies uh, has asked oh yeah very good question like if you are having any diabetes and all you are more prone to infection so please uh, better to stay indoors and stock up on your medical supplies like uh, if you are on insulin please stock it up and for ration always take uh, help from your neighbors or something instead of stepping out of the house if that is not possible you can or always order online or if even that is not possible you can go and get it but avoid the uh, multiple trip uh, tips thank you dr shita now keep a positive <laughs> mind most important yeah yeah that that's that's the most while doing all these things keep yourself positive now there's a question of uh, how the treatment happens in apollo do we have testing facilities is the question that came up let's so let me uh, take a privilege of answering that yeah apollo is well equipped with everything not just covid but any disease we are a one stop shop to have uh, all your health queries uh, attended to now as far as covid is concerned there's no treatment as such specifically there's no vaccine there's no antibiotic what we treat is the symptoms that the patients throw up when they come in if it's a flu we take care of the flu by giving certain medications like we normally do when you give a normal cold it's the same tablet there's no different tablet if you have fever you get paracetamol if there's a breathing difficulty you get nebulizations and in case it's severe you get a ventilator support so it's basically a symptomatic treatment and 
there is no uh, special equipment or a different equipment. We just train our staff, who's the doctor, the paramedical nurses, the helpers, to make sure they're aware of the dealing with a person who can transmit an infection and be very, very careful about how to deal with within themselves, how to handle the equipments, how to sanitize constantly, how to deal with the patients from one patient to the other patient. What do I do when I go to the other patient? So all those protocols are set extremely tightly in Apollo. Yeah. And Apollo delivers all the points from top to bottom as mild, moderate, severe illnesses. We take care of that. Yes, we do tests as well the CT scan and the PCR as well. Yeah, we do those tests. But we don't do those tests for people who do not have symptoms, who just randomly want to walk in and do it uh, because of certain uh, different reasons. But uh, we will let you know once, you know, we are in that phase, we will let you know. So will the uh, regular tablet, which works for flu, work for uh, COVID? No, it no. won't for COVID. It works for your symptoms. Dr. Harshita, yes. you may want to uh, explain that. Yes, yes. A regular flu vaccines or even regular flu tablets, it will sure reduce your symptoms, but uh, it does not cure you from uh, coronavirus. I mean, as of now, there is no such vaccine or drug that has like that is useful to treat it. Okay, I'm just going through a few more questions, uh, uh, Mr. Rajinder. If you can let me know, we still have time uh, to take questions, or we can go to the next uh, slide. There is no uh, particular risk at any other blood group. So everybody has the same uh, risk. And mostly the elderly and the children, children. Who immuno yeah. whose immunities are quite vulnerable are more, maybe more affected. Yes. But you'll be surprised to see that somebody who's 80 still has diseases, has a strong immunity and is fighting COVID like a normal 35, 40 year old. So yes. don't be surprised if that happens because it's just how your body handles it. Yeah. And if, uh, Dr. Harshita, do you want to just talk about a little about uh, what are the uh, food uh, that you normally should take to develop your immunity well? Yes, like green leafy vegetables and uh, nuts and uh, avoid dairy products. I mean, you can take it, but in limitation, you can have buttermilk and all. And uh, most importantly, keep hydrated. Yeah, somebody says ginger and pepper powder and, uh, you know, your turmeric, all those are Yes, yeah. it will uh, it will improve your immunity, immunity. but it should be in uh, limitation. Limited like if quantities. You are, yeah. Yes. If you take it more, you're more prone to acidity and other problems. Like this, those are ultimately irritants and it will irritate your uh, gut. So take it in limitation. You can have ginger water, but one cup a day, not more than that. Yeah. So how accurate is the rapid test? So the PCR test is very specific yes. and there's no aberrations. But as we know, the all tests that are done on the laboratory front, have some marginal variation, but then that's absolutely specific. So the doctors decide on this, uh, you know, presence of infection through these tests. And the also they test, take symptoms into consideration. Consideration, all, all put together. It's not just a yes. test, but symptoms, your vicinity, your engagement with an exports patient and all those things are taken into consideration. Will yoga control Corona? It'll just make you happier, fitter and uh, boost your you know, positivity in your head yes. and, you know, and then let, lets you be more fitter. But uh, as you, as you know, virus doesn't spare anybody, no matter what we do, if it has to get in, it gets in. How to build immunity staying at home. So I think Dr. Harshita has already spoken about that. Does wearing a mask for a quite long time cause breathing and skin allergies? Could be, could be possible. Yes. Yes, you can. Please, no, uh, please do not wear mask and jog. I see people around me yes. uh, jogging in mask. I stop them and tell them not to do it uh, because it will reduce your oxygen levels in the body. You can uh, sit and wear mask entire day. That won't, uh, nothing will happen. You can take breaks in between, but you're not supposed to jog or, you know, brisk walk while wearing mask. Yeah. So somebody's asked isopropyl alcohol and alcohol, which one is the best for washing? So I, I, I'd probably talk a little about it and Dr. Harshita can it. There's not much of a difference because there's only a few molecules of difference between these two and the strength of the alcohol in the product. So as long as you have X percentage, 46 to 76 to 96 percent of the alcohol percentage in the product that you wash your hands with, yeah. I think that's pretty safe. Don't worry about the content and what, how much isopropyl is there or how, how much alcohol is around. I think if you visit, when I talk to you about Apollo 247, you will be amazed to see the kind of products that we have on the, on the app where we, you can actually go and order your masks, your standard and global standards. It's not just a basic uh, local standards, it's a global standard hand uh, hygiene washes that we have. You yes. could want to order that. Please go feel free to order that. 
Yes, and uh, please do not use the uh, local sanitizer companies that showed up only in COVID. It's not safe that way. They are not tested, so Correct. please use the standard brands. So there are there are three uh, points that I would like to do before I end this session. One is if you have a doubt, a query, yeah, you could find all these answers on our app, Apollo Two Four Seven app. Uh, let me give you uh, allow you uh, a minute's time for all of you to download the app. Register yourself with a mobile number. You will get an OTP, and you'll see your home page, right? So uh, I'll give you time, one minute's time uh, before which we will get onto the next uh, slide. So this is Apollo two four seven. Type Apollo two four seven in your Android Play Store or iOS App Store, and you will find Apollo two four seven. Click that, download it, and uh, I think it'll take not more than a minute for you to download that. And I will talk about that where you can relate. You can actually keep navigating through the application while I'm talking about it, which uh, you know enables you to understand the application better. Because there are a lot of important uh, things in the application, not just uh, booking a consult with a doctor, but a lot of other information. You can actually do a risk analysis for your COVID. You can actually talk to your expert 24 by 7, a doctor available for any uh, you know uh, issue that you have on COVID, which is very important. I don't think anybody in the country is doing that. So, uh, you know, we take privilege to give you access to 24 seven doctors sitting and giving you answering questions of COVID. And uh, how is the news coming around about Corona medicine? Has it come out of? Yes, we have certain trials going on in Germany, in Thailand and other places in US and even India. Uh, they're still try doing trials on uh, mice and other like animals and, you know, animal trials, zoonotic you know, trials. So let's hope that it will come out and we have a vaccine soon. Yeah. It took some time for swine flu as well yes. for the vaccine to come out and there was mass vaccination program. So uh, swine flu still, you know, is killing people, but Corona is just a new other virus. So we have to find a vaccine soon, a uh, treatment modality. Yeah, uh, there are lots of, I would say there are lots of, uh, you know, uh, information messages, uh, educative uh, uh, information that is uh, going on the WhatsApp and other things. Uh, what our endeavor to all of you is, Trust a reliable source, right? One of the trusted souls in the country, in the whole world is Apollo, right? You go into the Google, find out about uh, COVID, you will have an Apollo snapshot, which comes from the Google. Try to go and educate yourself. There's an app which gives you information on Corona, go there. So trusted sources for COVID information is what we request you to follow. Please do not uh, spread news about things that come from different sources where it's not valid or authenticated, right? We sincerely request you to do that because that stigma Spreads like fire and I know how WhatsApp is. So try to restrict yourself and not forward everything that comes to you. Try to see whether that information is right or wrong. Okay. So uh, I think I'll just answer another couple of questions and uh, let me go to the next slide after this. Whether COVID will be intensive for kidney stone patients. Yeah, if you have any existing disease, I think uh, you are a little vulnerable than a normal person. I think Dr. Harshita will probably plan a little more. Dr. Ashita, you may want to just brief about if you have co yes, yes. Like if you have comorbidities like uh, hypertension or diabetes and all, yeah. you are more prone than the normal individual. And also autoimmune diseases, like if you have any such, you are more prone to it. Uh, one, this is very important. Uh, Sita Lakshmi Garu, uh, should we take interstitial lung disease patients more precautions? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Anything to do with the lung. I think you have to be just more careful. Yeah, even if you are asking. Small asthma. virus can activate a lot of uh, you know, complications. Yes, and also asthmatics and uh, people with other breathing difficulties. Any lung diseases, be, yes, yes. Any lung disease, they should be extra careful. Yes, smokers, please be careful. Alcoholics, please be careful. Yes. Uh, which is more safer, home or institutional quarantine? Extremely good question. Uh, I think it's hmm, from yes. Anaja. Very good question. Yes, yeah, you can obviously yeah. home quarantine because uh, we know where uh, to wipe it and how to disinfect. In institutional, other person is doing it, so it's always home quarantine is better than institutional quarantine. If you mean hospital, hospital, uh, the hospital is much better than home. But uh, if you mean other hotels or something, always home is better. Home quarantine is better. Okay, thank you, Dr. Harshita. Uh, I'm just trying to see the new questions. Uh, apart from the ones that we already answered for. How long can the virus stay in the air? I think Dr. Harshita has answered that already. Yes. You might just brief uh, just for them to be 
it will uh, uh, sink into the ground immediately. It will just take few seconds. That's it. But uh, most importantly, if you are uh, staying closer to that patient, then you are more prone to the infection. Uh, like on objective objects and all, on plastic it can stay up to three days, and uh, on copper it can stay up to four hours. On cardboard and other stuff, it can stay up to one day. These okay. are issued by WHO, World Health Organization. Yeah, one of uh, one of the gentlemen has asked uh, sodium hypochlorite solution. Is it okay for spraying in the communities? Um, yes, it is. It can be used as a surface disinfectant. Yeah, not yeah, because the dynamics of the air keeps changing. Yeah. You have a lot of gases and a lot of pollutants in the air. So, till a certain extent, I think it may help. May There's help. no harm in trying that. There's definitely yes. no harm, right? But just make sure your skin is covered and all. Covered and you know you don't inhale too much of it. So yes. there are disadvantages to it as well. Uh, you know, just try to be away from uh, crowded places. What we can recommend is is treatment possible at home with your help? Now, I would like to talk a little about what we are doing with people who have been infected, mildly infected, uh, while the people are staying at home or in certain identified hotels uh, or in the hospital. I would like to talk to you about little about a program that we have, which is an extremely interesting program. And the last few days that we've launched it, it's been extremely effective for us to pe treat people while they're at home and in case they're at, uh, in a hotel, because we've engaged a, a hotel as a quarantine zone or isolation zone where people are more comfortable staying in a hotel because they don't want to infect other people in the house. So we have an excellent uh, program, which I'll talk to you about it later, but that's a very good question. And Either way, if you hadn't asked that question, I would have uh, anyways uh, talked about it. So thank you, Dr. Harshita. I think uh, it, it's been important of uh, all the information that we've uh, cascaded to the group here. Uh, we are very sure that all of you will follow and stop spread the infection. If one person cannot do it, thousand people cannot do it, you know, it's never going to happen. So I think each one of us is important to uh, make sure we follow the ideals and, uh, uh, you know, the protocols to stop the spread. Uh, yes. So uh, I'm sure all of you have uh, uh, downloaded the app. Uh, I would love to see a yes from all of you on the what, on the YouTube saying, yes, I've downloaded or just say yes, uh, which will enable me to understand, enable us to understand that all of you have downloaded the app. And uh, I'll take about 10 seconds, 10 to 20 seconds to see a yes from you on the YouTube. All of you, please. And I'm hoping uh, that all of you have downloaded it. And I'll talk to you about what uh, the app can do and what this app is all about. Yeah, it's, it's good to see yeses. Uh, wonderful, keep doing that. I wanna see more of yeses. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Hema Saujanya, I will answer that question once I see all the yeses that how many people have downloaded. And do please let us know, uh, is it is it user friendly? How do you uh, in introspect the app? You've downloaded for the first time or you already would have downloaded it, but please give us a feedback of how the app is and what, how useful it could be for you. Now this app, uh, if, I, if I talk to you about what this app is all about, it is a end-to-end -end digital one-stop solution for all of you while seamlessly integrating with Apollo's physical network. We have a huge network of hospitals through the country, abroad as well. And uh, we have hospitals, we have clinics, we have Apollo diagnostics and multiple different verticals. Now, for you to get access to these verticals physically may not be possible sometimes, and especially now when the COVID is around. Instead, you could sit at home or any place convenient to you and connect with the doctor 24 by seven with specialists. We are talking about specialists through the night as well, not just from morning nine to five, through the night, you can access a specialist. You can talk to an internal medicine specialist. You can talk to a general physician anytime, anywhere, right? So this is less than 15 minutes, you can get a doctor, follow a doctor on the app, right? Now you can either type the doctor's name or you can just go through the specialty and look at a list of doctors filter through your location, filter through the uh, number of, uh, you know, uh, uh, experiences that the doctor has and multiple different filters that you have available with the language and all that. So that is how easy is, is it, it is for you to find a doctor. 
Now, once a doctor consults with you on an audio, video, or a chat, you can always go back and view your prescription, which the doctor gives you. You don't have to print a prescription. You can simply view a prescription and order your medications from there. For example, if a doctor writes uh, Crocin, paracetamol, you can only click order that medication. That is all you need to do. That's just one click away of receiving a medication in time. My uh, you know, uh, colleague uh, will talk to you about how the pharmacy happens, but I'm just giving you just of this. Now you can always track your symptoms, your medical records, all are inbound and save, saved uh, you know, with privacy, privacy and secure. And all your data is secure with us. And you can track that data as in how, how you want to wish to. Your prescriptions, your case sheets, your doctor's uh, consultations, all that can be tracked. And then uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, diagnostic tests that you can order. If the doctor writes, let's say, uh, blood sugar, you can just click on order and, you know, the diagnostic team will come to your house, take a sample and deliver the uh, result online. There's no hard copy here. There's no touch here anywhere. And our diagnostic person, the phlebotomist, the people who draw blood are extremely careful about drawing blood. They're totally safe. They wear gloves, they follow all the clinical protocols and make sure that uh, you know, the process of drawing blood or urine is all safe. Yeah? And you, you, we have an excellent program called Manage Diabetes, where we have a program where we entail you to enroll with us on the program and we manage your diabetes, your hypertension or any other chronic diseases while you're at home to make sure we educate you, we counsel you, we update you, we remind you of the medications, we engulf you with a process of thought that we take care. We take care of our patients. We make sure we don't leave them alone because just one consultation and you go back home is not enough for us. We want to engulf you, make sure you, you, know, you stay in a healthy mode. Why should you stay in a healthy mode? To have an excellent quality of life. That is what our intention is. So believe us, we are here for you and we will ensure that whatever you require, whenever you require, we're there for you. Yeah. So uh, I think that's a little about Apollo 247. And uh, uh, we also have a, you know, a help Corona helpline, Corona risk, self risk cancer test. It's just so easy. You just go click on that and you can go and uh, do ass assess yourself. You can know what risk you can. So it gives you complete information. It's a beautiful uh, risk scan test. I think all of you should do that. Your 90% of the questions will be answered. Yeah. In case some questions are unanswered, you can always get to the Corona helpline and talk to our doctors 24 seven, and they will give you all information, give you guidance and educate you on things that you need to know. And also advise you on consultations with a specialist involved. Uh, I, think, I think that's a, uh, you know, you know in detail about what services we have. Uh, we can go to the next slide, please, Mr. Rajendra. Yeah, this is a simple video where, oh, I, I thought you were playing a video. Yeah, this is a video we want you to see. Now, you can stop there, please. So I'm sure all of you have uh, downloaded the app and I've seen a lot of yeses. It's wonderful to see so many yeses there. And thank you for that. Thank you for acknowledging our app. Here you can see the homepage to find a doctor. And the moment you click find a doctor, it will ask you, is it for yourself or your any other family member? You can always or add more uh, about four, four family members on the app. It will give you a list of all the specialties there. Starting from internal medicine, pediatrics, we have about 40 plus specialties, which you probably wouldn't have access all these years. But now at a click of a finger, you have those access. If you click uh, you know, ENT, it will throw a list of all the ENT doctors and their availability. And you can straight away go and book an appointment. You can also see Dr. Harshita Reddy. She's one of the ENT surgeons here. So uh, yeah, you can say consult now. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry for that. Yeah, when you say book appointment, uh, can, can you stop here, please? I just want to uh, you know, give a brief about uh, uh, what happens when you consult now. There's a disclaimer which talks to you about uh, what limitations we have in uh, you know, the virtual consults and the doctor doesn't examine you physically. And it's an information that we take your consent that are you fine with doing this kind of a mode? Because earlier, you know, you have a physical consultation. Now it's a virtual consultation. You book for a consult and then you update your height, your weight and other few symptoms. Uh, 
and then you get to chat with the doctor and the doctor calls you on an audio or a video if it's required and does a consultation through and through with uh, detailing all your clinical history and things like that and then give a, a diagnosis and a prescription. I think this is Dr. Harshita that we've <laughs> taken a video on. So it's good to see your face, Dr. Harshita. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Nikit. Yeah, so there's a chat that, that can happen and you can chat in case you're not comfortable with the chat, you can always switch on to the audio uh, call or a video call which comes onto your app. You can also, uh, you know, download your, upload your uh, medical records, previous medical records for a doctor to view what medical records were there. And this record, these records stay with us for life with our secure, uh, you know, uh, server network where we keep all your information secure. So there's nothing to worry about it. So the prescription, you know, uh, details about the tablet and the way that it has to be taken, it's all automated. So it's easy for the doctors to write a prescription with all the details and instructions there. Yeah, you can just go to view our health records to view the prescription that the doctor's written. And uh, you can actually order uh, your medications from there and also order diagnostic tests. So I think, uh, I think we can, uh, yeah. So order medications, if you see order medications at the bottom, you can order medications from there. My colleague will talk a little more about how. So as I was, as we were talking and a few people asking, how do you, how does Apollo manage people who are infected? And if I have to stay home, if I have to be in a hotel room as an isolation uh, center, how do, how, do, how, do, how does Apollo manage that? We have an excellent program called Apollo Coverage which we have recently introduced. And if you can see through the list of programs that Apollo Kavach has, it's an extremely comprehensive program, a very, uh, a very important and effective program with access to our uh, physicians, our caretakers, which are the nursing uh, you know, uh, personnel, where we engulf you, we take care of you, we call you, we talk to you, we do consultations, we give you uh, insights on uh, medicines and your clinical compliances, how to reduce the risk of transmission to the family members, how to monitor you at home, you know, what are the guidelines that we follow to monitor you at home, and what are the interventions that we have if you develop new signs and symptoms throughout, right? So these are, these are the things that we take care of you. Now, we have a very basic package which starts uh, 300 rupees per day, where we have uh, consultations and uh, physician uh, consults. We have, <coughs> sorry, about seven consults and a nursing, nursing uh, care, caregiver connects with you at least 14 times every day. So the, through, through, the, through the package that we have. An advanced package, you can see that our team will share this with you very soon uh, in, on, on, as an SMS or an email. You can always have a look at that and touch base with our personnel to uh, register for this program. Uh, so advanced package of 600 rupees per day. And we have uh, connects from physicians, from the nursing supervisors, from counselors, and we have a total rehabilitation program for a week or two and with alternate day program of consulting with the doctors, dietitians and counselors. So this is a complete overall package where we connect with you. So you do not have to come physically visit us. Yes, it is extremely possible and important that we can deal with uh, symptoms or people who have been affected or has a risk of getting affected at home or uh, in isolated center in a hotel, wherever. Right. So I think this is, this is a very important uh, program that we have to know more about it. Our team will get in touch with you and to see if anybody wants an enrollment, we would be happy to help you with that. Uh, my colleague, Mr. Arpan Chatterjee, who's the senior manager marketing in a pharmacy. Thank you, Doc, uh, Mr. Arpan, to be here online. And we would have you talk a little about pharmacy around, around uh, our participants and how pharmacy benefits them and what are the different uh, methods of uh, being available to them and being accessible to all the people who need us. Uh, thank you, Dr. Neetal, for the generous introduction. Thank you, Dr. Harshita, very informative presentation. I've been like listening, I'm all ears to it. Okay, uh, thank you very much all of you for making time for us Apollo family, okay? We Apollo family are there with you in this difficult moment. In this time, when you find difficulty in stepping out of your house, we are trying to bring all the services for you at your doorstep. But however, before I start, I again want to emphasize and re-emphasize this thing that you see. 
this is your line of defense this mask is a line of defense we have come up with another line of defense the face shields these face shields and masks are available at the nearest apollo pharmacy okay so you can go to the nearest apollo pharmacy or you can do the second best thing you can reach out to apollo via the apollo 24 by 7 app the power of 37 3900 apollo pharmacies we bring it to your doorstep okay we not only provide you healthcare consultations we not only provide you the healthcare locker and stuff we also provide you medicines and regular household items of your usage to your doorstep on the screen you would be seeing here the pharmacies which are nearest to you you can reach out to them but as i told you before you can also reach out to us via apollo 24 by 7 app okay so now in this situation we rest assured we are with you we are there for you okay uh, could we look at the video of how to book medicines we would now have a look at how the medicines we can buy from apollo 24 by 7 app could you please play the video so it's a very simple process apollo 24 by 7 app has a button known as buy medicines you can see on the screen there buy medicines all you need to do is click on buy medicines please proceed uh once you click on buy medicines uh if you can pause it there once so our apollo 24 by 7 app has a feature very similar to google search once you click on buy medicines in the search bar at the top you just need to type in the medicine name it could be a erythromycin could be a crocin could be any other medicine that you need any kind of medicine so all you need to do is type it to get the options at the bottom could you please play the video so you get the options at the bottom all you need to do is click on the select button then you need to check the quantity whether it's all right or not and you need to click on buy now okay so what do you do you click on buy medicines you need to select the medicine check the quantity click on buy now at the top right corner of the screen you would also see the add items button so you can add more medicines or more products of a similar kind or of any kind from apollo pharmacy in a single order could we proceed on the video yeah so after you have added a few more medicines any medicine say here the screen says metrojail a crocin and metrojail i ordered very critically so that you are not inconvenienced we give an option of uploading your prescription via the easiest way either you can click the prescription as a photograph from your camera or you can upload it from your gallery so it's as simple as that it happens in a jiffy so you buy the medicines you select it you upload the prescription using one of the options in the screen that's either a photo or a gallery once you're done with the prescription upload then we move to the next part that is the home delivery quite a critical part so you click on the home delivery bit okay so i again recap it real fast you click on buy medicines you select the medicine name you add it you take the quantity and add it then maybe you add more items to it once you're done with it you upload the prescription either from the gallery or the camera once you're done with that then you next move on to the home delivery bit you click on the home delivery uh, tab you just add your address you tab it as either home or office If you could pause it here once, okay. Apollo Pharmacy's feature that we are giving, Apollo 24 by 7 gives you an amazing feature. Let's assume, like in, I can take in my example, my parents say in Kolkata, I can ensure that I add the Kolkata address sitting here at Hyderabad, and I can get the medicine delivered at Kolkata. So if your parents or relatives are staying in any corner of India, say a Bangalore, a Chennai, a Vishakhapatnam, a Vijayawada, you can get the medicines delivered. sitting at the convenience of your couch if we could if we could move forward so once we are done with the address thing you can pay online either using card or by net banking or we have the good old cash delivery cash on delivery the what majority of us use so either cash on delivery or online whichever payment mode you are convenient with and at the last the screen also gives you at the bottom corner acknowledgement that your order has been successfully placed so all this happens in a jiffy okay so this is how the medicine ordering process happens for you and in case uh, if the prescription is not very clear somebody from apollo 24 by 17 will call back to you and get back to you in case we need clarity on the quantity or the name of the medicine be rest assured you upload a prescription with the details we will be there to you and we'll reach out to you first via phone and then at your doorstep i would also like to tell you especially for my hyderabadi residents my hyderabadi fellow people we have launched a special 4 hour express delivery 
a four hour express delivery so that means from your home to your vicinity your nearest apollo pharmacy will ensure that all the medicines are delivered to your house within a span of four hours so the fact that we will ensure and we will bring convenience to your doorstep i request all of you that just have a look download the app and see how it looks you can give it a try okay and let me assure you the motto of apollo pharmacy that is uh, beyond we go beyond prescription we provide care beyond prescription we will ensure that any kind of help that you need is provided to you directly and also via the apollo 24 by 7 app so namaskar say in the stay safe have a nice day and uh, i would like to hand it over to dr neetal from here thank you sir thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Arpan, and it was uh, pretty informative. Uh, and I think it's so easy. You made it so easy, look so easy. I'm sure all of you, all of the, all of the perhaps participants will really use the app now. I think there are just a few steps away to book a medication while they sit at home and it gets delivered. So one of them I've asked a question of how fast a can of medicine be delivered. I think you've answered that right. Uh, it's for within four hours. I think Apollo delivers to you. At least in Hyderabad, on a majority of the facilities in Hyderabad, yeah. we'll ensure Correct. a four-hour delivery. But yeah. otherwise, also we Apollo, since we have 3,900 pharmacies across the different cities of India, I can tell you with a lot of like courage and lot of data behind me that if the medicine is available, we can ensure a same-day delivery of the medicine to the customer's doorstep. Yeah, I think that's that's a unique distinction between uh, us and everybody else. I think 3,900 uh, pharmacies, uh, dear participants. That's the best and that's the biggest number that we have. I don't think anybody in the world does it, if I'm not wrong. Uh, that many pharmacies and the huge, strong team that supports you. So do not hesitate to take our help whenever required. Thank you, Mr. Arpan. Thank uh, you. Yeah. So uh, if there's any other questions, if I have to see through the uh, YouTube, we can answer before going to the next uh, session. Yeah, I think we've got a lot of, uh, uh, you know, thank you from everybody. So it's a pleasure. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, we were here for you. So thank you for that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, being patient on a Sunday when you have a lot of other things to other activities to do. Yeah, there's a solar eclipse also. So keep yourself safe from the radiations and try not to go out till the solar eclipse is done. Uh, be safe. And... Uh, you know, we appreciate your uh, acknowledgement, acknowledgements uh, to our program. So it's wonderful to have all of you here. So uh, we have a very, uh, you know, uh, interesting feature here. At the end of this session, we thought we'll engage all of you as well. You can uh, put your uh, answers in the, what, uh, in, the, in the YouTube there in the chat. And uh, the first come first serve, right? So whoever answers first will get a, a gift a special gift to all of you who answered first and the right answer, of course. So uh, I'll take half a minute to just go through the queries that I have and put a question to all of you. Uh, if you are able to listen to me very carefully and uh, clearly, just put up a thumbs up on the YouTube and I will start asking questions to all of you. Just a couple of uh, people can just say, yes, we can hear you clearly so that I don't miss out the questions. Okay, I think uh, uh, most of them said they can hear us. Uh, so this is a first question that goes to all of you. Uh, think and answer, you have two to three seconds of time, but somebody who answers in a fraction of a second can answer. I would uh, recommend and request uh, uh, everybody who's from Apollo in the group not to answer. It's only for the participants. And if anybody from Apollo answers, try to know that you will not get a gift. And we've asked a lot of my team members to join too. You will not get, get a gift. It's an educative session for you, but it's for the participant to answer and get a gift. Okay. So the first question here, I'm shooting out to you. Can anybody tell us just the number, okay? The number of features that Apollo app has. 
I'm sure if you download it, you'll know. So let us know the answers. Somebody who answers the right question, the first question will get a gift. So uh, Rajinder and team, if you want to just uh, uh, note it down, please, and see the uh, person's name, we will separately uh, connect with the connect with the person. Right. So it's yeah, it's a six eight six six six. Okay, son. So we have a first uh, first uh, participant who's answered first, Mr. B T Srinivasan. He says six. Okay, okay. I, I think you can stop answering the question further because we've already got the answer right in the beginning. So, uh, yeah, six being the right answer. I think you've got it right. Uh, you know, the, the gift goes to uh, the gentleman. Thank you for that. So let me put you another question. Uh, can anybody say, and anybody answer, why COVID-19 was named COVID-19? What's the importance of COVID-19? Waiting for the answers. Okay, if you don't give an answer in the next two seconds, I'm going to answer and I'll get a gift. Okay. Do you have some answers? Since it's originated in December 19, yes. Okay, so fine. I think uh, Vishnu Parsi. That's a, let's, let's give a, you know, a round of applause to these two people who answered the questions right the first time and the right answers. So nice because it means that you're keeping yourself aware, you're keeping yourself updated. But yeah, these are these were some very easy questions. There's some hard questions coming up for all of you. And please do not open the internet to find the answers. That's cheating. Okay. Can you tell us the top? There are a lot of activities that we do, but then can you name the top three activities at home to stay positive and stress-free? Because Dr. Harshita has mentioned a lot about how to stay positive. We need all the all the three top most uh, you know, activities that one would need to do to keep yourself positive. So that Dr. Hashita and we will decide, I will decide which one are the top post. Stay home, three, I said three. So Sai Kumar Garu, you missed out a chance. We said three, yoga, exercise. Yoga is exercise, so yoga exercise is one answer. Yoga, exercise, medicate, med meditate is one same answer. It, it relates to exercise, that's just one answer, I need three. Uh, isolation. Ask distance. No, still not. Still don't have three important uh, ways to no wash hard, wash your hands, hygiene, and be positive are not good enough to keep yourself stress free. There are a lot of other things that you need to do to keep yourself stress free. Reading books, yoga, exercise, yoga, isolated quarantine, stay home, yoga. Still not have. Dr. Harshita, do you feel that these are the right answers? I think I think we've got to do more better than that, guys. Come on, because uh, you know three important things to stay positive, stress free, energetic. Exercise, maintain distance, keep masks, be happy, no negative news, yoga, gaining immunity. Wow. Okay. I guess uh, Mr. Vishnu Parsi has answered. Be happy, no negative news, yoga, and gaining immunity. You want to go with that? Uh, as of now, yeah. I want to be a little hard on this, but I want people to know they've got to do much more than this because like you said, you're more stronger than you think you are. Yes. So you've got to do much more than that to stay positive. Just a yoga or just exercise is not going to be enough. Yoga, stay home, mask. Where meditation, yoga, ginger tea, hear songs. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's that's so yes. important. Hearing songs keeps you stress free. It's I guess Mr. Srinivas answered it right. Ah, yoga, engage I, I, yourself, engage spend yourself, with spend time with family. That's I mean I, I'm I'm game for that. I think that's a good answer. Yes. Spending with right. family is most important. Most thing important. Do. Yes. And you know, uh, there, there's something those changes that have happened in the family. People have started having dinner or lunches together. Yes. Otherwise, somebody sits in the front of TV and has. A lot of things have changed. So this point, I think, uh, spending time with your family, it just makes you more positive. I think we'll go with Sri, Mr. Srima's uh, regular valsa, right? Yes, doctor. So you can, yes. uh, you can make a note of that. So my next question comes to you. Which country is free of COVID? India? Amsterdam? 
Andaman and Nicobar Islands. This is a good one. 2019 year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, New Zealand, Sai Kumar, yes. Yeah, you're reading, all of you reading newspapers and informing, information, yeah. So next question is, uh, so Sai gets a gift from us for answering that right. Which country is most affected? Spain? Andaman Nicobar Islands? United Kingdom? Okay. BT Srinivasan, you already got a gift, so I'll pass it on to somebody else. Vashishta K, India? No, 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 Vashishta. India is not on the top list. India is one of the one of, one of the top in this, but the most affected is the US. So I think uh, uh, Rajinder, you can take a call of uh, giving it to somebody else other than uh, you know. I think it's a first come first serve though, but you know, let's be a little descriptive and fair to give it to people who've not had a chance to have a gift. Okay, thank you. Uh, now. How does a mask help in just two, three words? Just words, no sentences, no stories about how it helps. If you can just let us know how a mask helps in preventing the in fact, in, in the transmission of a disease. Would like to know that. Dr. Uh, Harshita, you may want to judge uh, who's given the right answer, the first answer. I guess Miss uh, Miss Anradha gave it Anradha. already. Shielding. Are you are you convinced problems. with that? Are you convinced with that? Uh, it can stop it to an extent. Okay, so you want to get an answer yes. from somebody, or is it okay? Yes. That's okay. <laughs> okay, fine. I think then uh, you know we 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 go with uh, Miss Anradha. Shielding droplets. I think she used the right words. Yes. You know, spreading from infection, you shield the droplets, shield. and the mask. Shields it. It's yeah. a very specific answer is what I yes. feel too. Now, uh, how many countries, areas or territories, if I may say, are affected today, as on today? I need the right number. There, there's an exact number, which, uh, which is the right answer. If you're aware of that, it'll be good. Then don't travel to those countries. When you know that these countries are affected, don't travel to the countries. Uh, no, I still don't have the right answer. No, not yet, not yet. How many countries? You're close. A few people are close. I wouldn't say how many. Pasipulati is close. But you've lost a chance, sir. Not yet. Not yet. I'm still waiting for the right answer. It's almost close. Ravnit's, Ravni's kitchen. We're going to come to you. Oh, Advika Vipin, 216. Yes. So that, that's the number of territories, areas, and countries that have been affected. So try, so she gets a, she gets a gift. Advika Vipin. She's the first one to answer the right one. Yeah, so be careful about if, uh, visiting, visiting those countries and uh, make sure you stay safe and take care of all the uh, appropriate measures, yeah. Uh, which country recently announced very active and positive vaccine trials? And if you can say which, uh, China, no, 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 no. China is way too far behind of creating a vaccine. Suraj, Suraj Parsi, Germany. Yes, you are right. Germany. Yes. I think we go to Suraj Parsi because he's had the right answer. Germany's announced a recent uh, uh, crack in the vaccination production, vaccination uh, readiness, and they're testing it on mice and monkeys. And it's almost close uh, because a lot of results have come positive. So they're trying to test it on human trials very soon with a less virulent virus. Okay, thank you for that. So uh, I'm assuming that Rajinder is making a note or the team is making a note of uh, who the winners are. Now, the next question is, where did we get the name Corona from? Yeah, we have last two questions. Where did we get the name Corona from? How did it come? I'm hoping that uh, Everybody knows about it. Flu, no, sorry. No, not China. China, Corona, no, no. The Corona never came from, the Corona name didn't come from China. Coronavirus, yes, we are able to hear you. Coronavirus, China, China, nope. Then, how, I mean, I mean, okay, let me reframe this question. How did the name Corona come up? There's a reason, what, what does Corona mean? Crown shape, yes. You're right, Anuradha, but where did it come from? Solar eclipse? Really? Wuhan, nope. Crown shape is the right answer though, as of now. 
because it means crown shape but in which language what does it mean from a bat sara virus no it's not sara it's sars virus sans corona no okay i think we'll give it to anuradha because she said uh, you know where it came from as a crown it means halo yes. in latin it's a latin word latin. comes from there so that's how it the names come up so uh, last but not the least this is a very important one and uh, the one who uh, answers this uh, i would recommend uh, rajendra to actually give him uh, the best gifts ever because this is something that we want you to tell on how many steps in how many steps do you book a consult on apollo 247 app It's precisely three incorrect four incorrect three steps incorrect incorrect three 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 nope not yet five you're close Five, five. You're close. Six, Anuradha. Yes, yeah, six steps. Steps. I think uh, you're paying attention, Miss Anuradha. So it's wonderful to have you there, seeing the steps. So Anuradha gets a prize. And my next question is: How many steps to order a medicine? Five, three. okay we have the winner in three steps yeah is it right mr arpan we are, we can order medicine in three steps you have to validate that you can look through the answers and validate that uh it should be more than three steps i believe, i believe because you first click on buy medicines then you add medicines you upload the prescription you select the home delivery slot and then you select the payment mode so as per me it's five steps It's five steps. Yes, absolutely. It's five steps. So the first one set five steps gets the gift on this. I think it's a uh, Murti B V S N. So thank you all. I think it's uh, it was a wonderful uh, interaction with all of you. Thank you, Dr. Ashita. Thank you, uh, Mr. Arpan, and to our marketing and branding team from Apollo Two Four Seven, and all the leadership uh, and other doctors who were a part of this program, and uh, to the wonderful participants who've been here. Thank you very much for that. before i sign off i would like to tell you to use these two coupons apollo 247 and get 299 rupees off on online consultations with apollo doctors and medicine 10 coupon to get a 10% off on pharmacy orders so please use these coupons and get avail these discounts avail these offers so i think it was informative and as far as uh, us we are concerned it was a very interactive session and thank you all and have a good and safe sunday thank you very much uh, rajendra if there's anything or anybody you'd like to talk about we can uh, talk or just end the in the conversation yeah if we have the youtube's link still going on and yeah we'd like to see more of comments or more of a uh, feedback from all of you uh, to let us know if there's anything that we need to add in more in our next session we'd love to do that and make you more educative and informative thank you all have a great day thank you thank you